Good morning, my dear students. I'm Maria Muhammad, an English teacher from Uthman bin Affan School. Welcome to the Syrian educational platform from Damascus. Our lesson today about grade one. Before uh, today is Tuesday, 27 February 2024. Uh, about our lesson about grade 10. Uh, this lesson, uh, the second part of uh, unit nine, uh, text one, which is uh, pollution or different kinds of pollution. The second part about grammar, about future forms. We have many forms of future. Okay, we have number one. We use the present simple for something scheduled. Okay, we can use simple present or present simple to express about something in the future, when uh, it is scheduled. For example, the train arrives at half past six in the morning. We have arrives in the simple present. But this sentence expresses about something in the future, OK? The second one, we use the present symbol in time clause to express future. For example, when my friend arrives, this is time clause. We have when plus subject plus verb one. Okay, time clause. When my friend arrives, we will start the match. That means uh, my friend doesn't arrive yet or, or have, hasn't arrived yet. Okay, when he arrives, I he arrives, we will or I will start the match. The third one, we can use the present continuous for plans or arrangements. When I am planning to do something in the future, for example, tomorrow or next week, I will use present continuous to express about, express about something in the future. For example, we are having party at Christmas. Okay? Maybe morning, in the next morning, next week, next month, I am planning. Fourth one, we use will for, like, uh, you know, will plus P. Going to, uh, it's the most common forms of future, okay? We will use in what? Sudden decisions, okay? Immediate decisions. For example, I feel thirsty. I will have something to drink. I don't have, I don't uh, have many time, or uh, sorry, much time to decide to drink water. I feel thirsty. I will have something to drink. This is decision. And uh, it, this is immediate or sudden decision. The second one, or P, predictions. I will put will for predictions. Example, I think Brazil will win the World Cup. It's my prediction, okay, in my opinion. The uh, fifth one, we use be going to. Okay, be is, am, um, are, going to, to express about what? To talk about plans or intentions. When I intend to do something, I don't use will. So I put going to, is am um, plus going to. For example, I'm going to drive to work today. Okay, I intend. B, to make predictions based on evidence. If we have prediction without evidence, I will put what will. If I have evidence, uh, if I have prediction with evidence, I will put going to. For example, look at those black clouds. We have evidence. I think it's going to rain, okay? This is the evidence. Uh, we have some sentence to put these verbs in the correct form. Put the verbs in brackets in the suitable or correct future form. They drive to New York tomorrow morning. We have tomorrow morning uh, something, uh, I, plans or uh, arrangement, okay? So I will put present continuous, are driving. The second one, I hope the weather will be nice at the weekend. I don't have any evidence. If we have evidence, I will put going to. But in this sentence, I don't have any evidence, I will put will. The third one, I offered him this job. I think he took it. I think, I don't, uh, I'm not sure, okay? I will put what? Will, because it's production. Number four, Take your umbrella with you. It rains. The sky is cloudy. The sky is cloudy is an evidence. Because we have evidence, I will put is going to 
raining, sorry, to rain. It's wrong. After John leaves home, she will meet her friends. Okay? Six one. Uh, it's a question. He go to the football match. So I'm planning, or I uh, I have maybe time, or I'm planning to do something in the future. So I will put. Is he going to to go to the football match? The final one. She probably say will. Okay, because we have pr probably, I'm not sure, so I will put what? Will. <coughs> I will move to the second section, time clauses. Okay, expressing the future in time clauses. For example, when my friends arrive, we will start the match. When plus my friend subject and arrive verb is a time clause. Okay. I, will, I can use time clause to express about something in the future. When? Subject, my friend, verb arrive, it's a time clause. Time clause begins with such word, like when, before, after, as soon as, or until. Okay, the time clause can be at the beginning of the sentence, like this sentence, or in the second part. I can throw this sentence. For example, we will start the match when my friend arrives, we will start the match when my friend arrives. But in this case, when I put uh, time clause words, like when and in any word, I will drop the comma. Only if these words, like when or uh, before, become at the beginning, like this, I will put comma between the two sentences. Choose the correct sentence. I have some questions. I will do my homework before I watch or will watch. We have before and will. I will put what? Watch. It's time close. We will go to the cinema as soon as we finish. Uh, I, can, I can't use will in the two sentence. Okay? The third one, we will have family celebration when. We have when and will. So I will choose graduate. The Final one, after Jen leaves home, she will meet or meet her friends. I have after and leaves, I will put will meet. Thank you so much, my dear students.